Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to check out another beer review. Appreciate you swinging by. Going to take a look at one from the brewery out of California. It is their brewery Toro Sourento. This one here is a sour blonde ale aged in oak barrels with lemon zest and vanilla beans. On uh, the label says bright, tart, and inspired. And even though it's actually aged in oak barrels, the ABV one is only 6.1, so a lot of your beers that are aged in oak barrels, you expect to be higher ABV. This one has a nice uh, lower level. and see what this one has to offer. Good amount of smoke out of it. Still some smoke coming out. And still some smoke, wow. So I already smelled the lemon zest coming out of the bottle even before I started pouring. So that's pretty good as far as the aroma. Almost lost a little bit then. And they actually talk about how this is bottle fermented and the preference is to not pour it all out because they want you to leave the yeast sediment in the bottom of the uh, bottle itself. And as far as the bottle caps, I know some of you guys like to see some of the bottle caps out there. That is it there. I ended up bending it a little bit more than I wanted to, of course. So I'll try to pop that out before I put it in the collection. Beer itself comes out. Pretty decent golden straw-like color. Lots of carbonation taking place. Comes through a lot better with the light behind it. The head came out easily. It's a nice two to three finger head. Pretty much right on, dead on, uh, billowy white color. And a little bit of a uh, chill haze in there. Now I took it out of the fridge, let it sit for a few minutes to get it to kind of around that 45 degree, I think. Um, don't really know how cold it is in the fridge though. But you think if you're at a bar and you're running beer, your tap lines are usually around 37. Probably could let it sit for a little bit more, but we're going to go ahead and get into this one because I'm thirsty and I do want to taste it. The aroma, as I mentioned, from the pour came out easily with the lemon zest. As I smell here, I'm getting the lemon coming out without any issue. It's got a nice uh, burst of that lemon zest to it. A little bit of a funkiness here from it being a sour as well. It smells like you're going to get a little bit of that vanilla in there. You're getting a little bit there with a little bit of that oak. But it's got like a little bit of a spiciness there too. But the more it actually warms up, the more I'm getting like a lemon meringue type aroma. If you ever had lemon meringue pie, which as a kid used to be one of my favorites, really getting a nice decent aroma that really emulates that. It's going to get the taste. In the taste, the lemon comes through. Big burst of tartness in there. Definitely feel that sour hit. Nice little astringency. It almost has a slight bit of a woodiness though in the taste that you're picking up some of that wood. It also has a little bit of a wine type feel. You get a little bit of acidity in there as well. You got a nice effervescence taking place. Almost like a lemon tart type feel in the flavor. You're getting a lot of carbonation that's also bubbling air. Carbonation is a little more ramped on this one. Not overly carbonated to where it's kind of like seltzer water, but you are feeling those bubbles. It does have a nice popping sensation to it, but then on the finish, it does go down rather easily. You have a little bit of that sourness on the back end, but not much on it where it's hard to actually enjoy the flavor going down. It sits on the tongue. Pretty much as kind of a, uh, I would say a, a medium body, but the most thing that I'm feeling as far as being overpowering is really some of that oak woodiness and some of that vanilla on the back end, lemon up front, and then at the end you're getting an aftertaste, like I said, kind of like a lemon tart. So if you think of the aroma like a lemon meringue, you think about the taste, a lemon tart. Head has actually worked its way down now, dissipated rather easily, not really any lacing behind. Although that doesn't usually happen with a lot of the sours anyway. Do feel a little bit of carbonation in the chest now. And you don't have to rush through it as far as the duration. It's that nice duration. I'm sitting it down here for a bit of time. And yet I'm still feeling the flavors kicking around nicely in the mouth. Again, it's a beer that I, that I don't have to worry about rushing through to actually finish uh, in a certain amount of time. As it warms up a little bit more, it seems to be getting a little bit better as it approaches probably around a 45 degree type area. So, so a solid beer. Uh, I don't think you're disappointed if you're a sour fan. I think you would actually enjoy this one. So if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Again, this is from the brewery. It is their Toro Sourento. Give it a shot if you happen to see it. That being said, thanks again for swinging by for another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. As always, keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.